What's up, folks? It's Daniel the Vape Man. Today, we're going to be doing loyalty. Double shot. And here's a look at the bottle. The same thing with all uh, loyalties bottles. They're very simple. If I'm correct, I believe it's 70 VG. And this is made by um, loyalty out of Torrance, California. Now, before I start this video, um, yeah, as you can tell, nose is stopped up. We went from like 15, like, like negative something degrees to today was like 40, 50. And my allergies are just like, meh. So, this is supposed to be like a vanilla bean, coffee, cappuccino, some kind of, you know, some kind of coffee flavor. Um, before I get into this video, I did do a review on key, uh, Keyberry, and I did do a reveal... A review on melon aid ice as you can tell I can't even speak English right now both of them were amazing some of my favorite juices of all time will this match up I don't know I'll tell you so um, if you watched the sample box video yesterday they said this was a very very sweet coffee juice in my opinion it is sweet but it's not a very sweet coffee juice there is a lot of coffee juices out there that are ridiculously sweet i prefer more of a black coffee no cream maybe a little sugar i do like my sugar but i prefer black with sugar this is kind of like that though you do get a little bit of a creamy aspect you get a very prevalent vanilla in there a little bit of a mocha surprise and you get an overall good vibe of coffee. It's definitely not black coffee though. You don't taste the cream individually. I mean, you don't taste the cream by itself. What it is, is it's a coffee with a little bit of cream, in my opinion, versus creamy coffee. Does that make sense? You know what I'm saying? Black coffee with cream is different than if you pour cream into, you know, it's not split up. It's it's a light, lighter coffee. Let's just put it that way. Apparently, my brain doesn't work as well. So what I get off of this is, at the beginning, it's definitely a vanilla bean, vanilla cappuccino kind of deal. Midway, you get that creamy coffee, a uh, light cream coffee. Definitely, you know, it is, it's not super sweet. Do not be you know, steer away from this just because you don't like, this is not the sweetest coffee I've ever had, and it's, it's, it's in between black coffee, it's in between super sweet coffee, this is definitely not like, um, a Rome, uh, by Brood, where it's a, it's a blonde espresso, and it is sweet, but it's more of a black coffee, of course it is espresso, which is stronger, or anything by Brood, where it's not, they, they, it, it's probably one up from that, no pun, so you go from completely dark, black, no sugar, then you have brewed where it has some sugar in it, but it's not overpowering and it's delicious. And then you have this, it's definitely in between that and the, the super duper coffees like Mexican coffee and Hades and uh, very sweet coffee flavors. Uh, the coffee in here is very accurate to a coffee. A lot of times you get a burn flavor when you vape it. Uh, not this one, but coffee flavors. You get a burnt flavor when you vape it. With this, you do not. You get to taste everything. The vanilla is definitely over uh, powered by the coffee and cream almost immediately. The first exhale, you taste the vanilla bean, the vanilla cappuccino, whatever it's supposed to be, uh, and then it's just over. It's overpowered by the coffee, which in my opinion it's pretty good because you get an aspect of both but they're definitely not together they're kind of separate in my opinion they don't blend together and the hint of mocha is somewhere in there every now and then i get a pretty decent amount of mocha not a super strong but some mocha in there it's usually in the tail end of the vanilla bean right before the coffee flavor coffee and cream so now, in a tangent before I get my mimictation and my rating, is, so all three flavors from Loyalty, I have liked so much that I, in my next sample box, I ordered the rest of them. So I'm going to have all five flavors from Loyalty. So far, I can't think of any that is below nine. 
Melonade Ice could be like an 8.5. You know, it, it, I would have, the only thing I can think about is I would have preferred more ice. To me, Key Berry is a perfect blend of kiwi and strawberry. I absolutely love it. At higher watts, you taste the strawberry. At lower watts, you taste the, ki uh, the kiwi. For this one, I've only vaped it at higher watts, but I'm pretty sure the vanilla will come out and express itself a lot more at lower wattages, whereas higher wattages, it quickly is dissolved and turns into that nice, delicious coffee. So I highly recommend anything from the line. Out of the five, if you see one that you are intrigued by, I highly recommend get it and get it right away because they do go pretty quick on Zample Box. Overall rating, I'm going to do this in comparison to other coffees. My favorite two coffee flavors are Brewed, Rome, and uh, Hades by Cyclops Vapors. Another honorable mention is definitely anything by Brewed, Seattle, or Rio. Those would be my, my top four. Brood has it on lock. There is another flavor. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but this is probably going to be in the top five. I would probably put this three. I would put um, Hades second, Rome first, and this would be third. Hades might even be third, and this might be second. Overall rating, I give this a nine. 9.2 around that rating. Mimictation for coffee is definitely high, I would say in the 90 percentile, with the vanilla being kind of pushed to the side immediately, I would give that kind of like an 80 percent, so an overall rating I'd say 85 percent, which is pretty damn good. But anyways folks, that has been Loyalty Double Shot. Check them out. Really good company. They always reply to me on Instagram. It's ridiculous. They might even just, they might say, hey, or something like that, but they always reply. Much love to them. They're a really good company. And uh, I, I don't know if they're small or big. Uh, I think they're in the 30,000 spectrum for Instagram followers or whatever. So they're, they're not up there, but they're in between. And I really hope they climb the scale and make some more juice because so far they're three for three. We're going to see if they're four for four or four for five or five for five or whatever. So hopefully not three for five. The next two juices are on the lower ratings of Zample Box, but I never really trust the ratings. I go immediately to the reviews and also the flavor profile and combine those two to make my decision. And then I just fine-tune my box until the end of the month until I feel like it's perfect with a couple of new additions that I haven't tried, like a, you know trying new flavors that I haven't tried, new blends that I wouldn't think of, uh, of trying and stuff like that. But anyways, folks, that has been Loyalty Double Shot. Love their bottles, by the way. Anyways, we're going to do another review because I have to catch up on reviews. But first, I'm going to go and make a run to the bank. So anyways, folks, have a good night. Hope you enjoyed the Super Bowl. I don't think anyone would enjoy that Super Bowl. That Super Bowl was boring, but I hope you enjoyed your Sunday with your family and friends and all that and your weekend. Anyways, folks, have a great day.